is a tomato. <laughs> it says it's a big fat jalapeno that is perfect for making lots of salsa. Okay, so I threw pickles. No. Ooh, I got rice here. Oopsies, I'm gonna throw the seeds. Hello, my name is Crystal. Welcome to our channel. It's like 38 degrees today. We live in Connecticut and tonight it is supposed to drop down to 25 degrees and then we're supposed to get maybe up to three inches of snow. It's gonna be in the 20s tomorrow with a low of 14, I think I saw at nighttime. Hopefully that might change a little bit. It's been cold like that on and off since, you know, late fall or so. Well, it's a little nice out, kind of. It's been cloudy every day. I mean, yesterday I think a little bit of sun came out, um, but it's just constantly cloudy and it's like, very not motivating to work outside. Before it gets really cold out and we get some snow possibly, I'm going to check on my friends here. <laughs> Hello ladies. Let's make sure that they have food and water and get them some snacks and then we'll go check on the goats. Then I'm gonna go inside, so excited. I ordered a whole bunch of seeds. So I need to go through them and organize them, put them away, and I'm gonna share with you what seeds I got. I still have another order I'm waiting for, and I might actually be placing another order for seeds because I think I may have forgotten to get some stuff. Once I go through all my seeds today, I'll know if I need anything. It'll be fun. But let's start by taking care of the animals. The heated water that we got is working out really, really well. We bought a heated water and in one of our videos we showed us setting it up. For the chickens, the one that we got for them is working really good. We turned the back water nozzle off in the winter time so it doesn't freeze. The only one we have on is the one that's in the front of the house. It is kind of a pain to like take it apart, bring it over to fill it once it needs to be filled. We really only have to do that like once a week and clean it out a little bit. But as far as it keeping the water warm enough where it's not freezing, hasn't been an issue. So we'll see how it does in the 14 degree weather this weekend. What do you think, Rocky? You ready? Rocky's sore, he got hurt. It was really muddy out. Him and Homer were playing and Homer is a much bigger dog and plays a little rough sometimes. His back end is hurting him a little bit and he's having a hard time walking. For the past few days he actually hasn't even been putting his foot down and today he's actually putting it down and, and walking on it. You good boy? Yeah, you're doing good. You look better, huh? All right, let's go over and see the goats. Hello. I just gave them all new shavings and stuff a few days ago. I'm just gonna go through and rake out a little bit of the manure that's on top, fluff it up a little bit, and give them some fresh hay. I gave them fresh water this morning, so they should be good there. A little bit of goat snacks, huh? Two hawks. They're really cool, but that's why we don't let our chickens free range predator birds like all over. There's two huge hawks. Three. There's three. Alright, let's head inside and look at some seeds. There's the goat waterer. And that's been working out really good. They like drinking from it. It keeps the water from freezing. We are inside now, obviously. We're in my bedroom because there's nowhere else to film this right now. So let me first talk about how I store my seeds. A couple of years ago, I had seen Epic Gardener, Kevin. He had talked about how he stores his seeds and they were in these photo containers. And they're these little just photo containers and then you can put a label on it. So this one's carrots and the seed packets fit perfectly. Oh. One of them has opened. I don't know which one. One of them is leaking. There's a bunch of carrot seeds just floating around in here. But again, it's uh, perfect for that because it just holds everything so nicely and I'm able to store all of my seeds and then put them into this container. 
So I have two of these containers. I'm able to organize and keep all of my seeds. I like knowing that my a lot of my stuff is portable and I can take it with me. The next thing I want to talk about about the seeds is I, I did a short video a few weeks back on our large pumpkins that we grew. We grew a couple state fair winter pumpkins this year. And to be clear, State Fair Winner is the name of the seeds from MI Gardener. They're called the State Fair Winner Pumpkin. I had started all three seeds that came in the packet. Two of the plants did really well. The third one didn't, but I, in all fairness, I did not put it in a great location. One of them gave us a 65 pound pumpkin, and the other one gave us, I think it was 40 pounds. So I had done a couple short videos showing us cutting into those. And I had mentioned that I would like to give seeds away. I have the seeds here. I'll probably give away like six of the seeds. I don't know if they will germinate. I don't know if there a plant will come from these or not. I, well, I did do the floating thing in the water to see which ones are viable. But I honestly, I'm not a professional, so I'm not sure if those will actually germinate. But I would love to give some of my seeds away to a subscriber. Steve and I are working out the details on that. All right, let me get into the things that I bought this year. I placed orders with High Mowing Seeds, Baker Creek, and my gardener. Hudson Valley Seed Company and Fairy Morse. I ordered seeds from Fairy Morse also. Let me show you what I've gotten. So these enormous packages of seeds here I got on clearance from a local Agway store. It's like a farm and garden store and they had these on clearance and I think I paid like a dollar something for each of these and there is a lot. These are not organic seeds. Um, but the price was so good I couldn't say no. It's an enormous bag of Silver Queen sweet corn and this is a, a dwarf white sugar pea. And then from Hudson Valley Seed Company I got this five pound bag of winter rye. I'm going to be using that in our goat pen. So the back side of the goat pen that doesn't have anything growing in it I'm going to be putting that down to get some grass back there. I guess I'll start with, I think I sorted them, kind of, so we'll start with the greens. I got more, a mesclun mix from Fairy Morse. From Fruition Seeds, I got a Winter Density Lettuce, another mesclun mix, and a lettuce mix. And then the free packet I got from Baker Creek is a Merlot lettuce, which I'm actually really excited about. As I show them to you, I'm just going to file them in my containers here. I got some more pumpkins, seeds. I got an Atlantic Giant from M.I. Gardener. Long Island Cheese Pumpkin. Oopsies, I'm gonna throw the seeds. It's called the Long Island Cheese Pumpkin because it resembles a wheel of cheese. <laughs> Has a rich and sweet flesh. And then I also got a Baby Bear Pumpkin. They're just so cute. From Baker Creek, I got the Jack B. Little. Squashes are those little tiny, little tiny pumpkins. Big and small pumpkins here. Other pumpkin seeds that I have already. I've got a uh, Lady Godiva from Baker Creek. The Connecticut Field Pumpkin from Burpee. A small sugar pumpkin from So Right Seeds. Sugar Pie Pumpkin from My Gardener. This was the State Fair winner packet. It's empty. And more Connecticut Field pumpkins from my gardener. Those are ones I already had. I got some Brussels sprouts from Fruition Seeds. If I can find the container. I should put these in alphabetical order. It might help me a little bit. These are peas. Now I have a lot of pea seeds. Lots of different ones. This one is a Tom Thumb from Baker Creek. And it's ideal for containers or window boxes or cold frame production. I just really like it and I'm gonna try it in our green stock. I got some Evergreen Bunching organic seeds here from Fairy Morse. Hudson Valley Seed Company, I got the New York Early Onions. They're also out of New York. Another New York Early from Fruition Seeds, Rosa di Milano Red Onion. 
And then the Weathersfield Red from Baker Creek and a shallot from Baker Creek. I'm gonna try regrowing onions from the onions that I grew this year. So like essentially not on purpose. I wanted to grow full size onions, but I ended up growing my own onion sets. <laughs> I'm gonna try re replanting the onions that I grew last year and seeing if I'm able to get those to grow anymore. I'm going to be starting onions from seed probably within the next week or so. I'm gonna be starting these onions. Dwarf Siberian Kale from Baker Creek, and I got a Green Globe Artichoke from M.I. Gardner. Oh, I already had these. <laughs> I also have asparagus in here that I meant to try this past year and I didn't, and I have a loofah gourd in here also. So many garden goals this year. I've got a Jacob's Cattle Bean by Hudson Valley Seed Company, a soybean from M.I. Gardner, garbanzo bean from M.I. Gardner, American Flag Leeks. I've never grown leeks before. I'm going to start those indoors also. I also got Swiss Chard. I've never grown Swiss Chard before. These ones, this is a Ruby Swiss Chard by Fairy Morse. Ooh, I got rice here. <laughs> this is long grain rice and it's from M.I. Gardner. The packet says this large grain rice is easy to grow and doesn't need a rice patty to grow. The plants will grow as long as they are kept damp and well watered. Once plants reach the four leaf stage, continuously flood two to three inches until mature. Maintain constant moisture for unstunted growth. So that would be really inter interesting to try. I got some fennel from M.I. Gardner. I got two packets of sweet corn, double standard sweet corn. This is from Fruition Seeds. Uh, more spinach. Oh, there's more packets. Easter egg radishes. So it's just like a whole bunch of different kinds of radishes from Hudson Valley Seed. White hailstone is my favorite. I have a few different kinds in here. This one's from my gardener. This new one here is from Baker Creek. You know, I found them all to be the same, honestly. I did really good with eggplants this year. So I got a different kind of eggplant. This one's a Rosita. And it says it was developed in Puerto Rico in the 1940s. And it's a lovely neon lavender pink fruit. Has mild, sweet white flesh. Skin is tender and not bitter. Yeah, last year I grew these ones. This is just a Black Beauty eggplant. Organic from Burpee. And those ones did very good, so I'm excited to try a different variety of eggplant. I ordered some more beets. These ones are Tall Top Early Wonder from Fairy Morse. Okay, so I grew pickles. No. I grew cucumbers this year. They did okay. Uh, the hybrids did better than the heirloom varieties only because they are bred to be more pest resistant and disease resistant. So I'm going to focus more next year on growing organic hybrid seeds and, and see if I'm able to get better yields of things than I did this past year. I mean, this past year was really tough. Um, we just didn't get a lot of uh, zucchini and cucumber was, you know, the past two years have been, it's just been really difficult to grow. But I was successful in some of them. The silver slicer from Fruition Seeds did amazing and I love it and then I had grown some pickling cucumbers also and I made pickles and I have a video all about that I'll put up here. Steve and I have been eating through those they are so crunchy the method that I did worked out perfect they are so crunchy and so delicious my only complaint is they're a little salty a little a little bit too salty for me but other than that they are so so delicious I finished another jar of those today too back to the seeds here these ones are by Hudson Valley Seed Company they're homemade pickles cucumber from fruition seeds a New York slicing 264 Mexican gherkins here. I'm really excited. I don't know. Is that the same thing as a cucamelon? I don't know. They're really cool looking though. I'm excited to try those. I got a bush pickling cucumber. The packet here says that they're exceptionally compact plants with two foot vines and huge production. From high mowing organic seeds here is a green 18 F1 cucumber. It's a hybrid. Garden sweet cucumber 
Organic Cucumber by Fairy Morse. I'm gonna add those to my very large collection of cucumber seeds. I ordered a golden zucchini, so it's like a yellow zucchini from my gardener. I got an F1 green machine zucchini <laughs> from High Mowing Organic Seeds. And a delicata squash. It's a winter squash uh, from my gardener. This year was the first year I grew honey nut squash. And if you have not tried it yet, I highly recommend it. I think it was this one from High Mowing Seeds. It was so delicious. It is so good. If you like winter squashes like that, they're so good. Some more carrots, because I have a goal to grow carrots next year. I've got a yellow stone carrot from Fruition Seeds, and a Dulcinea carrot. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. And I did get another watermelon seed packet. I have a lot of melon seeds, too. Um, the new one that I got is Moon and Stars from Fairy Morris. Let's move on to peppers. Oh, I got another beet, too, I missed. This one's, oh, I can't, I don't know if I can pronounce that. I'm going to say it wrong. Chioja? Chioga? <laughs> Chugga? <laughs> I don't know. But they just look really cool. I have hot peppers and sweet peppers here. And some of the new ones I got, I got a King of the North pepper. A Ozark Giant pepper also from Baker Creek so those are the sweet peppers and I've learned that I need to get some more purple bell and then hot peppers one of my things that I really wanted was to find a larger variety jalapeno I found one uh, this one's Craig's Grande Jalapeno. It says it's a big fat jalapeno that is perfect for making lots of salsa. I like to make lots of salsa, so <laughs> it's perfect. And we'll see how those do. Those are from Baker Creek. And I also got a Cayenne Long Slim. Now, I have decided these really spicy chili peppers here, so the Tabasco, Habanero, Cayenne, and the Hungarian Yellow Wax, I'm actually going to start indoors really, really early. I am going to be starting these later on this month, maybe February. They take forever to provide, f to grow fruit on them, and I just want to try growing them indoors really early, and I'm going to go through the whole process of potting them up and keeping them under grow lights. Now, I could have saved a couple of the plants and brought them indoors this year and overwintered some pepper plants. I had so much going on this year, I just, I, I didn't even really want to deal with that. So. I'm just gonna try growing some of these indoors. The jalapenos and pepperoncini peppers I know did fine and produced right on time with all the other ones just like normal. But these really spicy peppers here, I'm gonna try and start them indoors a lot earlier this year. Tomatoes. Oh man. I have slicing tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, and paste tomatoes. Homer, that's enough. The new ones that I have purchased this year so far is the Tomato Orange Hat by Baker Creek. This is a bushing variety. It's a dwarf that grows six to nine inches tall and it produces tiny orange tomatoes. So I'm going to try these. This will be excellent, I think, in the green stock that we have. Upstate Variety, look at these seed packets that they have. Hudson Valley Seed Company, some of the seed packets that they have are just so pretty. But this one's an Upstate Oxheart Tomato. I've grown the pink Oxheart, I think it's from M.I. Gardener. They're sensitive when there's a lot of rain. They get a blossom and rot fairly easy, I noticed. They do not grow well in containers. They do good in the garden bed that I have. The one plant that I had this year that really did well, it was in the garden bed and it did better than any of the other oxarts I've grown before. They're really meaty 
tomatoes. They don't have a lot of seeds or that gel. So if, if you really don't, if you have an aversion to tomatoes and you don't really like those things, those might be the good, a better tomato to try. They're also really good to make salsas with. I really wanted to try this, a different kind of ox heart tomato. So I'm excited to try that one. Also from Hudson Valley Seed Company, I have Honey Drop Cherry Tomatoes. This one says it's an open pollinated golden cherry tomato, exceptionally sweet, resist cracking. That was another problem I had. This is the Opelka tomato from MI Gardener. I got some San Marzanos. Never grown those before. Heard very good things. I really like the yellow tomatoes. This year was my first year growing Dr. Weish's, and it is delicious. So I also grew the uh, Sunrise Bumblebee tomatoes, which are like the yellow pink. Um, cherry tomatoes, so good, just so sweet. So I got some of these. This is a tomato. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep talking here. This is an orange jazz tomato from Baker Creek. Got myself some Bonnie Best, introduced in 1908 by Walter P. Stokes Seed House. Medium-sized fruit is round, red, meaty, and flavorful. A good producer for fresh or canned. Pink bumblebee. So I got the Sunrise Bumblebee seed still, and then I have this pink bumblebee here. I think that's it for the new seeds. And I have some more packets coming from in my garden. The Crimson Giant tomato. I got a couple of those packets. And then I think I ordered a bunch of different herbs. It's time for me to go. This has been a long, long chat <laughs> with you. It's been a while, so I had to get it all out. Let me know in the comments below what seeds I missed and maybe I should grow or seed companies that I haven't tried yet. I love those things. But that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We really, really appreciate you and we're really excited for this new year. And uh, we will see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.